Hello friends, welcome to wi com, one stop destination for all competitive exams. Friend, in this video, we are going to present you the another section of current affair that is the second week of November in English. So friends, uh, if you want to prepare from the application mode, you can download our Wi-Fi study app. This is a very useful app and you will get a daily current affair GK test in both the formats that is in Hindi and in English. And you can download this app from the Google Play and it is beneficial for all the exams. For example, banking, SSC, UPSC, railways, defense, everything. Every, every exam that you want to prepare, you can prepare from this application. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe us so that we can provide you more uh, GK material, more contents, more current affairs and that will be very beneficial for your upcoming exam. So friends, let's start from the international section first. After that, we're going to cover national, then trade and banking, sports, everything which is relevant to, the, uh, to your preparation or your papers. So let's start from the international section first. So which country has signed a pact with India to address fisherman crisis? So there is a country near neighboring country of ours which signed a pact with for to address fisherman crisis. So let's see the news first and after that we'll take out the answer. So India and Sri Lanka signed an agreement under which a hotline will be set up between officials of the two countries to address the fisherman crisis. So your answer is Sri Lanka. India and Sri Lanka signed a pact. So A is your answer and it, it will also set a procedure to return arrested fishermen and have a ministerial level meeting every few months on the issues. Let's see another question. What is the full form of NASA mission MMS? So this is another mission which is set up by the NASA and the full form of the NASA is National Aeronautics and Space Administration and it is a civil, civilian space program. It is used for the civilian space programs as well as astronautics and aer aerospace research. And this organization is set up by the idea of this organization is from the DD, DDE that is Duane D. Eisenhower and it is established in 1958. It is established by the DDE that is Duane D. Eisenhower in 1958 and it's a executive body of the US government. So there's um, another mission which is named as MMS. So what is the full form of MMS? So let's see the news and after that we'll pick up the answer. So NASA's magnetospheric multi-scale mission on 5th November 2016 set the Guinness Book of World Record for highest altitude, altitude fix of a global positioning system signal at 70,000 km above the surface of the earth. So they fixed up a GPS at the 70,000 km above the surface of the earth and that is a Guinness Book of World Records. And the name of the mission is Magnetospheric Multiscale. So B is your answer. Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission. Which country recently launched a Pulsar Navigation Satellite? So let's see the news. China has launched a navi navigation satellite which will conduct in-orbit experiment. It will conduct in-orbit experiments using detectors to demonstrate new technologies. The X-ray Pulsar Navigation was at, launched from the Jingwen Satellite Launch Center. So your answer is China. China launched this Pulsar Navigation Satellite. Which country recently signed a deal with nuclear deal with India? So let's see the news. Japan signed a historic civil nuclear uh, corporation deal with India, opening the door for collaboration between their industries in the field. So your answer is C. Japan and uh, India signed a nuclear deal with the Japan and it will become the first country to sign a deal with the with the Japan without signing the NPT without signing the NPT and India imports uranium from the few countries like Kazakhstan and from the Australia India import nearby 40% from the Australia and Kazakhstan uranium I'm talking about the uranium and from France Canada India got an India also had a nuclear deal by which India get a uranium so recently India signed a deal with the Japan. Which Indian language was used on thank you note in US president election? So let's see the news. The growing power of the Indian community in US was seen once again when Hindi language found a place on thank you note in US president election. So Hindi is your answer. Four languages used there and one of them is Hindi. That is English, Spanish, Chinese and another one is Hindi. Pune to host India-China hand in hand 2016 training program. So this would mark the sixth annual joint training exercise between the Indian Army and the People Liberation Army of China. World Pneumonia Day is observed on which date? So let's, uh, firstly I'll tell you some information about the pneumonia. It is an inflammatory, it is an inflammation condition of the lungs. Inflammation condition of the lungs, basically of the air sac. There is a one alveoli in lower part of the lungs. It is infected by the virus or bacteria. So it is basically, it is a basically a inflammation of the lungs, pneumonia, pneumonia disease. So it is observed on 12th November and the theme of this 2016 is keep the promise stop pneumonia now. Keep the promise stop pneumonia now is the theme of the 2016 World Pneumonia Day. World Diabetes Day is observed on which date? 
so diabetes it is a disease due to the uh, due to the pancreas because pancreas is not producing enough insulin or the cell of the body not responding properly to the insulin because of that diabetes is caused okay and there is a high blood glucose level because of that there is a many problems occur in the body so diabetes day is observed on 14th november and the theme is eyes on diabetes very important both the things okay so 14th november is considered as world diabetes day which country will host conference of parties 3op meeting 2018 so let's see the news india will preside the 8th edition of the conference of parties to who framework convention on tobacco control which will be held in switzerland by in geneva in 2018 so your answer is Switzerland Switzerland will going to host but the this COP meeting is presided by the India for the next 2 years okay health secretary CK Mishra became the president of the COP bureau for the next 2 years APEC forum week has been started in Visakhi so in uh, so Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum week started at Lima in Peru so your answer is Lima 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 is the capital of the Peru and bringing together leaders of the world largest economic businessmen and investors so this is the international news which is relevant to your exams and now let's proceed towards the national news which ministry has launched pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan so let's see the news the union minister of health and family welfare launched pradhan mantri surakshit surakshit uh, matritva abhiyan the scheme aims at providing pregnant women and antenatal services and required treatment for free at government health centers and hospitals on the 9th of the every month okay so on the 9th of the every month they will provide a free facilities to the pregnant women and it is started by the union minister of health and family welfare damchok mission was carried out at which place so damchok mission it is very successful mission which is launched by the indian army and successfully completed its task of laying an irrigation pipeline in the damchuk region of the ladakh so it is in ladakh the project was being conducted under the mahatma gandhi ruler uh, national ruler Ga- ruler employment guarantee act that is manrega to link the villages in the region with a hot spring despite chinese barrier so china chinese army objected over this issue but still that in the army completed this project so it is in ladakh first lng fuel bus in india was launched in which state so let's see the news first lng fuel bus in the country launched in kerala okay so president of the petroleum and the natural gas that is the dharmendra pradhan launch was in the inaugural of this lpg lng fuel gas so lng what is lng first that is liquefied natural gas okay and this lng is very cost effective because it has an energy nearby 2.4 2.4 times of cng and nearby 60% of diesel engine that's why this lng is in news and it is its liquid form is used because of the transportation okay because of the transportation this liquid form is in used and this is very cost effective and it is used in a places where there is a problem of the other another there is a problem of the diesel or the cng or other medium resources okay so your answer is kerala d is your answer which ministry has launched no mode tension mobile application so let's go to the news JP Nadda Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare released the Healthy India initiative that is that is the Swasth Bharat Ek Pehal magazine and launched the No More Tension mobile application this launch this launch which is a part of the government digital india program is in line with his commitment to prioritize public health and strengthen citizen center health cent- services so your answer is Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare uh, minister is JP Nadda and they inaugurated this scheme by prioritizing the health issues of the nation which ministry has launched smart india hackathon 2017 so let's see the news hrd minister prakash javedkar on november inaugurated smart india hackathon 2017 world largest digital national building initiative largest digital national building initiative okay so aiming at reaching out to all the technology institution in india and challenges student to offer innovative solution to the daunting problems faced by the nations So your answer is HRD Ministry, that is the Human Resource Development Minister. Competition Commission of India elected to host ICN 2018 annual conference. So the International Competition Commission, that is Commission Network, International Competition Network (ICN), okay, announces that the Competition Commission of India would host the ICN annual conference 2018. Okay, it will be going to held in Delhi. So next question is Ravin Ravlin is the president of which country? So let's hear news. Israeli President Ravlin 
Rabin Rablin arrived in the Mumbai on November 14th on a 6 day visit to India to further strand strengthen bilateral ties. So the answer is Israel. He is the president of Israel. Rivlin. Now trade and banking. Which country has topped global business optimism index for the July September quarter? Let's go to the news. The latest Grand Thornton International Business Report for the July September quarter has placed India second on the global scale for business optimism and it is topped by the Indonesia and third place is on Philippines so it is on the first place so your answer is D it is on first India is on second and Philippines is on third place in the global business optimism index what is the new name of the google capital so let's go to the news google capital has search giant search venture arms that invest in growth stage companies has changed its name to the capital G so your answer is capital G okay so the new name of the google capital is capital G ADB has approved 48 million dollar loan to help which state to improve power distribution. So let's do the goes to the news. The government of Assam and the ADB has signed a deal in which the ADB will provide 48 million dollar loan to Assam to improve power distribution. Okay, so they are pro- they provide to improve the power distribution in Assam. So your answer is C. C is your answer. ADB provide this loan to the Assam for development of the power distribution. Which bank has signed a MOU with the Indian Army on the defense salary package? So let's see the news. Corporation Bank has signed a MOU with the Indian Army on the defense salary package. Okay, Corporation Bank would provide free services to army under the MOU. So your answer is Corporation Bank. A is your answer. Which is the first bank in India to launch banking robot? So let's sort of go to the news first. City Union Bank has launched a robot in the in the Chennai became the first bank in the country to do so. and japan soft bank was the first to use a robot in banking operation so you need to remember two things first is the japan soft bank which uses robot in banking operation first in the world and second city bank city union bank in india uses this so your answer is c which state has signed an agreement with the canada to work on urban infrastructure and smart cities so let's see the news maharashtra government has signed an agreement with canada to implement a joint action plan on urban infrastructure development in the state Okay so your answer is Maharashtra B is your answer or which Canada uh, Maharashtra and Canada come into the come into the agreement to provide an infrastructure development in the state which country has signed has got largest ever loan for a middle east nation from IMF so there is a one country which got the highest loan ever by IMF in the middle east nation okay and it is a middle east nation see so the news first the IMF has approved a 3 year 12 billion dollar loan program for egypt the largest such package to a middle east nation so your answer is c egypt has got this loan and the headquarter of the imf is in washington dc you have to also remember this which tractor making company will set up a center of excellence in rajasthan so let's go to the news taf taf e the world third largest tractor maker in collaboration with the rajasthan government is setting up a center of excellence j farm rajasthan and a custom hiring center in six zones in rajasthan at a total cost of nearby 1000 crore okay so your answer is taf t a f e world large third largest tractor making company will going to uh, will set up a excellence center of excellence in rajasthan which edition of india international trade fair was inaugurated recently so the president of india pranab mukherjee inaugurated the 36th edition of the international trade fair in new delhi so it is the it was the 36th international trade fair which bank has opened its first international branch in dubai recently so federal bank india's major commercial bank in the private sector has received rbi permission to open its branch at the dubai international financial center and it will be the first international branch of the international branch of the bank so federal bank its headquarters is in kochi federal bank headquarters is in kochi and your answer is b now let's see the appointments who has been appointed as executive director of rbi so The RBI has appointed M Rajeshwar Rao as an ED following Mahalingam voluntary retirement from the central bank so Mahalingam take the took the voluntary retirement from the bank and the new executive director is Rajeshwar Rao so your answer is C who has been appointed as a special director of intelligence bureau so the appointment commission committee of the cabinet has appointed Shri S K Sinha IPS batch 1983 additional director IB to the post of special director intelligence bureau So your answer is B S K Sinha became the special director of the intelligence bureau who has been appointed as a MD and CEO of BOB Capital Markets so Bank of Baroda has appointed Ratna, Ratnesh Kumar as MD and CEO of its 
wholly owned investment banking in the subsidiary Bank of Baroda Capital Markets Limited. So your answer is D. Ratnesh Kumar, who has been elected as the 45th President of the United States. So it's a very easy answer and everybody knows that it's a Donald Trump. He is a billionaire turned politician and became the 45th President of the United States, who has been appointed as the interim chairperson of TCS. So let's go to the news. Austin Tata Sun chairperson Cyrus Misri has also removed as a chairperson of the TCS with immediate effects has been replaced by the Ishad Hussain as chairperson of the board of directors of the company. So your answer is A. Ishad Hussain became the interim chairperson of TCS. Who is the first ever Indian American to win US senator seat? So California Attorney General Kamala Harris became the first Indian American to win the US senate seat from the state. So your answer is Kamala Harris became the first ever Indian to win US senator seat. G. Mahalingam is Sabi new full time member. So G. Mahalingam became the Sabi full time new Sabi full time member. Let's see the another question that is Chinese security official elected Interpol chief. Chinese security officials that is Meng Hangui became the became the Interpol chief. Okay, so Interpol is what is the Interpol first? It is an international criminal police organization also recognized as ICPO International Criminal Police Organization and it was set up in 1923. Its headquarter is in Lyon that is in France and there are nearby 190 countries which are uh, which whom are member of this Interpol organization okay and uh, right now Meng Hangui became the president of the inter uh, international organization this international organization Guy Ryder has been appointed director general of which organization let's see the news Guy Ryder has re-elected as the director general of the international labor organization for another five year term okay so he became the President of the International Labour Organization. Its headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. So, Ryder became the Data General of International Labour Organization. Who is the first Indian to be appointed as an International Hockey Federation Chief? Another important question. And let's see the news first. Narendra Batra became the first Indian to be elected as the President of the International Hockey Federation. And he became the 12th. He, and he also became the first Asian to grab the position. He became the first Asian to grab the position with the first Indian to be appointed as the International Hockey Federation Chief. So your answer is D. Narendra Batra. Which bank has appointed Amresh Acharya as the head of the in global Indian banking? So private sector lender Yes Bank has appointed Amresh Acharya as a group president and head of the global Indian banking. So your answer is Yes Bank. A is your answer. Now let's see the awards. Which country leader has been conferred with the Jamnalad Bajaj Award 2016? So well known Gandhian and the president of the Tunisia, Sheikh Rachid Gyanochi as among the four prominent personalities conferred with the prestigious 39th Jamnalal Bajaj Foundation Award for 2016. So your answer is B. Tunisia president got this award. Which company has been awarded with the Golden Peacock Award 2016 for corporate governance? So let's see the news. The prestigious Golden Peacock Award for Corporate Governance for this year has been conferred upon the Maharatna firm that is Sale, Steel Authority of India Limited. So your answer is A. Who has been conferred with the Uttarakhand Ratna Award 2016? So let's see the news. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Harish Rawat conferred the Uttarakhand Ratna Award on his arch rival and former Chief Minister that is Na Narayan Dutt Tiwari on the occasion of the Foundation Day. So, Haveri Shravat, the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, gave this award to the Narendra Dutt Tiwadi. So, the answer is A. Kalida Samman is given by which state? So, let's see the news. Madhya Pradesh government is earning uh, its prestigious Kalida Samman National Award for 15-16 for the achievement in the theatre to renovate theatre personalities of Lucknow and Padmashri, Raj Bisarya and the Bansi Call from Delhi. And it is the first time that the MP government has chosen someone from UP for the award. So, the answer is Madhya Pradesh. And this award is given for the theater and the two person who got this award is Raj Bisarya and the theater artist Banshi Call. Okay, Banshi Call. Who has won the Stephen Adberg Sportsmanship Award 2016? So former world number one that is Roger Federer won the Stephen Adberg Sportsmanship Award at the ATB Awards on 10th November for the 12th time in his career. And the award is given to player who display the spirit of the sports on the court. So this award is given for the spirit of the sports on the court and 12th time he got this award. So the answer is Roger Federer from Switzerland who has been declared fortune business person of the year. 
so mark zuckerberg has been declared for this award and he is the fifth millionaire wealthiest person of the world who has been awarded with the honored with the 2016 tata literature live poet literate award so let's go to the news lyricist writer gulzar will be honored with the tata award okay tata poet literate award the award will be presented to gujra uh, gulzar an oscar and a grammy award winner at the inaugural of the festival so the answer is a gulzar let's see some sports questions who is the current world number 1 tennis player so british tennis player andy murray 29 became the world number 1 tennis player he achieved this position from the jokovic he took 7 years to become number 1 from number 2 so the answer is d andy murray from britain who has been appointed brand ambassador of the second t20 blind world cup so let's see the news india is set to host the second t20 blind world cup next year the association cricket association for the blind in india announced on november 9 in bangalore they also signed rahul dravid as a brand ambassador for the tournament okay so rahul dravid became the brand ambassador the legendary player of indian cricket team rahul dravid became the brand ambassador of the of this tournament western mumbai western railways beat haryana 4 to to win soji trophy so mumbai western railways won this award and this trophy this trophy belongs to the hockey robin peterson has announced retirement from cricket recently he is from which country so robin peterson is a spinner from the south africa so the answer is c south africa he started his international career in champions trophy in 2002 so let's see another question that is which city will host invictus games in 2018 so let's see the news australia will host the 2018 invictus game for wounded military personnel so britain uh, prince harry announced So more than 500 serving and the former personals from 17 nation will compete in the multi sports competition in Sydney. So the answer is A that is Sydney. Sydney will going to host this Invictus Games in 2018. So Aditi Ashok left India Open title Indian Open title. Indian teenager that is Aditi Ashok clapped a brilliant show to clinch the Indian Open golf tournament became the first woman from the country to to claim a European tour event. So so Aditi Ashok is from the goals and you should have to remember this Hamilton clinched Brazilian Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton has won Brazilian Grand Prix with this he has narrowed the gap with his teammate Nico Rosberg and it was a ninth win for Hamilton this season Nico Rosberg finished second in this race so now see let's uh, some death questions Janet Reno passed away recently she was the first woman attorney general of which country so Janet Reno is the first woman to be appointed as the attorney general of the us passed away as a consequence of pakistan disease she was 78 so your answer is b us she is the first nations ever female attorney general served in the clinton white house from 93 to 2001 singer arthan nayar passed away recently he was from which country so let's see the news the renovated gazal and the film singer arthan nayar as aka a nayar passed away recently and he is from Pakistan so C is your answer now books who is the author of the book title an era of darkness british empire in india so let's go to the news first bryce president of india hamid ansar released book an era of darkness the british empire in india authored by the shashi tharoor the author rightly points out that british rule in india was effectively and regularly supplemented by famine fam, uh, famine forced migration and brutality so your answer is b shashi tharoor wrote this book Who is the author of the book title Sherawati Sherawati So the president of India Sh- Shri Pranab Mukherjee received the Hindi English Urdu and Gujarati translation of the book Sherawati Sherawati originally written in Marathi by the Shri Ram Nayak governor of the Uttar Pradesh So the answer is Ram Nayak and he is a governor of the Uttar Pradesh and he wrote this Sherawati Sherawati book in Marathi So these are the important questions from the second week of November friends hope you like it and you will subscribe us so thank you and all the best for your exam